Nick Offerman is with us. Can we get a round of applause for Nick? Why, thank you. <laughs> I haven't done anything yet. Go ahead, Dara. You could redesign the food pyramid. What would it look like? Yeah. <laughs> If I could redesign the food pyramid, well, I, I have, first of all, I would have to say I'm, I'm pretty ignorant to the food pyramid. <laughs> I know meat is on there, <laughs> and I believe eggs are uh, in the meat section. Somewhere in there, yeah. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it. I guess it would become be a circle. It would be a, a food circle that would contain meat and eggs. I'm you not going to peek. You eat this every morning? I yeah. gave my word. You eat this every morning, is what the clue was. You eat this every morning. <laughs> so, okay, so it's, it's, not, it's not realistic. Uh, bacon. Well, that's part of it. And eggs. Yeah, there you go. What is the most important tool in your workshop? I would say the most important thing is your imagination. Uh, the fun thing about making things out of wood is it's really, every, everything you make is some sort of puzzle. And the fun part is the problem solving. So whether you're making a kazoo or a canoe, um, it's, you're looking at a stack of blocks and saying, okay, how can I shape all these things and make them stick together so that uh, they won't sink when we go out on the river or, or so that they'll hold you know, our dinner plates um, in a fashion that we don't have to worry about them still. Your character on Parks and Rec, Ron Swanson, secretly moonlights as a jazz saxophonist whose name is what? What is that guy's name? His, uh, his albums are Smooth as Silver, Hi-Ho Duke, there's a third one, uh, Memories of Now. <laughs> I think his name is Duke Silver. Duke Silver. The main course of the holiday coming up. The main course of the holiday coming up. Uh, we've again bacon and eggs. <laughs> now I don't think it was very fair that you made me get a Ryan Seacrest haircut to come into the Seacrest Studios. You make. Do you believe that's right? You make Is everyone that right? do that. Do you, would that be a Ryan Seacrest haircut? So like, if we were to just call up Ryan, are we gonna tagline that? I would, uh, I think so. They, I, the, the truth is I was cast on a TV show that I'm shooting next week as an attractive person. <laughs> and they said, we're gonna have to really w work with your look. And so I assume by trying to make me more good looking, they made it look like Ryan Seacrest. <laughs>